In this video, we'll be covering citations, where to find information on them, how to do them, when to do them, and why we do them. First, we'll talk about how to cite. For the research guide for your major, there will be a page with either the name of the citation style used within your field or the word citations. At that page, you'll see a link to the Purdue OWL guide for your field or another online guide. Some guides will also have a box with a diagram on how to do common kinds of citations in your style, like for books or journal articles. You can also go to the library citation guide, which has information on many different citation styles. It is at lib.manhattan.edu slash citation. The recommended source for citation style information is the Purdue OWL Online Writing Lab guide for that style, which has a link like this. Definitely unfortunate that they've decided to cover it in pop-up videos, but there is still helpful information on here. You can click to the pages set up for different kinds of sources that will help you with the proper citation structure in scenarios that may come up, like articles without an author listed, or chapters within an edited book, or different kinds of sources. They also have sample papers that you can download with comments explaining why things are formatted the way they are, and showing with actual cases how to do in-text citations, and how to list all the works used at the end in a works cited page. It's important to know how to go to this page, because even if one of the databases that you're using offers a citation function, if anything about their formatting is wrong, your citation will be wrong too, and you'll need this to double check against. A citation helper that we like to mention is Zotero. You can see more about it on the slideshow on this page. You should also note though that with Zotero or any other citation generator that you'll still need to compare the citation that you get to the Purdue OWL guide here to make sure that the citation that you have is right. Why do we cite things? Well first off, you want to avoid plagiarism which is passing off other people's work as your own. Additionally, you're citing to participate in scholarly communication. Every time you use a source and cite it, you're letting an interested reader know where they can find more information on your research topic and where they can verify that what you're telling them is true. When to cite? First off, you must cite direct quotations. You need to cite any original research done by your source, whether it's data or statistics or an anecdote or detail. You have to cite any argument made by your source, even if it's an argument that you are also making. You have to cite if something is not a commonly accepted fact. As an example, you would not need to cite that New York has five boroughs, because nobody is arguing that we have four, and it is basic knowledge about your topic. But if you wanted to argue that it has more art schools in it than Chicago, well, you should cite where you're getting that information from. Some people might argue that Chicago has more per capita, or want to know how art school is being defined. So you'd want to cite any assertion you make that could be disputed. It can be confusing to know if something is disputed or common knowledge or not, so if you have any doubt at all, you should just cite it. If you have any questions on this as you begin writing your paper, you can contact the library. We are here to help you.